Hi, uh, this is a video I wanted to make for a long time because this is a situation I have encountered a few times in my client as well. Let's say you have a custom field which is a single select and you want to change that field to a multi-select. You have to go through a couple of steps in Asana because this is not natively available. Let me show you an example. I have two different projects for marketing campaigns. I have winter campaigns, I have Black Friday campaign. Each project has posts, three different posts. Each post has a channel on which you want to post that specific uh, content, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. That would make sense to be able to post to several channels and you might want to actually move to a multi-select, but if you edit the field, that post channel field, you can't change the type afterwards, it's too late. So I will show you how to migrate the data from one field to another. The first thing you need to do is to actually create that uh, second field, which I already did. It's called uh, post channels um, and it's a multi-select with exactly the same options. So step number one, create the field. Step number two, find the project that have that field. One easy trick is to go to the advanced search and then add a filter on your custom field, post channel, contains any value. That will give you all the tasks with the value for that specific field. And if you sort by project, you basically get the list of project with that field. Once you have the list, you can go into each project and add the new field. So I'm going to go into the Black Friday, customize, add field, choose from library. And this is my new field, post channels. I'll do the same thing for the winter campaign. Add a new field, choose from library, post channels. Obviously, the field has to be part of the library to be able to use the same field in all the different projects. All right, so now I have that second field. In order to migrate the data, you can either open project one by one or you can go into the search. You can add a filter, add a custom field. You can filter on the post channel. Contains any value that will give you what we had before, which is uh, all the tasks with that first field, but you want to see the other field, right? You want to do um, some uh, migration. So what you do is you refine the search, you add another filter on the custom field, the second one, the post channels, and then you don't say anything. You just say contains any, and you search. That will add you the column directly in the search results. Okay. And then you can just deal with the data one by one. YouTube, TikTok, one by one, you mirror the data. If you have a lot of data, so if you are in that situation with tons and tons of data, my suggestion is to do this. You refine the search and you look not at any value, but at one specific value, for example, YouTube. That will give you all the tasks with YouTube. You multi-select them and you choose YouTube. And then you refine the search, you choose a different one, TikTok, you search, you multi-select, you choose TikTok, and you do that for every single option. There's no way to automate this unless you really custom code the solution. Um, but I think that's pretty straightforward using the search. Once you're done with the migration, you can always go back to contains any value, and you can make sure that everything matches. There we have Instagram. And once you're done, you can go back to winter campaign and then you go to the first field and you have remove from project, remove post channel. There you go. You migrated from one field to another. If you want to migrate from a text field to a drop down, it's almost the same thing. You can use the search and then you can migrate one by one. And uh, it's the same thing if you want to do any migration between text and number. Uh, the only thing is you're going to have a lot of manual steps to do the migration one by one, unless you have the ability to search for a specific value. I hope that helps. 
Uh, good luck with your migration. Bye.